What's up everybody, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfail, and I'm back for another episode in my tabletop world building, tabletop map making series focused on Incarnate, which is the program that I use, that I've been using for a couple of years to create the maps that we use for our tabletop world, as well as for our point and click adventure game and some other creative projects that we have going on, all of which can be found over at the Patreon page that I work on with my wife and my brother. It's that world map behind me. We talked about it in the first episode. We've been talking about it in the tabletop world building series. And today we're diving into the next section of Incarnate Tutorials, which is uh, what's the difference between a free version of Incarnate and a paid version? And does it matter to me? Do I need to be worried about it? Um, so we're going to go straight to the fact page for this one because they have it laid out in a very easy to read format. Payments and subscriptions, what's the difference between free and pro versions? The pro version unlocks more map styles and enhances those available in the free version. Here are the main differences. Once you go paid, you get a wider selection of additional high definition stamps, textures, and fonts. You get access to all the regular art updates that they do. You get access to all the new tools and features that aren't available in the free version. Here's the one that's most important for me. You get commercial use of the maps created with an incarnate, i.e. the ability to sell maps, as well as do commissioned work and etc. And the other one was this, exporting maps at a high resolution with stunning quality up to 8K resolution with the pro plan compared to the 2K version for the free version. And then of course, uh, you also can upload your own custom art for use alongside incarnate art if you are on the paid plan. Um, it's it's basically just the difference between doing it for fun and for you and the difference between doing it for a public space where you're going to be showing your work off to other people or selling your work to other people because you want your public work to be absolutely the best quality possible. So getting that pro version is well worth it for that. Um, now, I don't remember, does it say here, I don't remember how much it costs to actually um, go on to the uh, pro version, but I want to say, oh yeah, here it is right now, $25 a year, uh, hang on, I'm reading here, what's the difference between the two plans? Both plans provide the same tools and options, the only difference between the two pro plans is that the monthly pro subscription plan is paid monthly and the average annual pro plan is paid annually. Most of the users choose the annual plan because it's $35 savings per year. Yeah, I'm on the uh, annual plan because it's 25 bucks a year. So, okay, so it's $5 a month, um, as of this recording, $5 a month if you go with a monthly subscription, or you can do $25 for the whole year. I went for $25 for the whole year, because it's like, you know, $2 a month, a little bit more than that, and I get access to, and we're going to go look at this now, we're going to get access to all of these amazing stamps over here. So, here's looking at all of these stamps and also you got to understand one of the things that I love about this fact is that as this I, you know I've been a subscriber now for two years and just in the two years I told somebody in my first video I said in the two years since I've been a member they've released something like six or eight different uh, additional asset packs since then which is just insane to think about so let me go ahead and um, minimize this real quick I'm gonna have to move this over so that everyone can better see what we're looking at here. So you look on the left hand side here, we've got, these are the map styles as a pro user. Fantasy battle maps, um, hang on here. And it's it might take a minute to load because I've got all sorts of internet stuff in the boonies where I live. Fantasy battle maps 2.0, fantasy regional high definition, fantasy world, parchment world, watercolor battle maps, and watercolor cities. Now. Under each one of these, you've got tons of assets that are available based on um, the style that you're working with. But the important thing is like the high definition components, like fantasy regional high def. If you go back to the fact page, these are only available to the pro users. Um, you don't get access to the high def. I'm going to double check the reading of that. I'm not in dark mode anymore. I apologize for that. Uh, yeah. 
additional high definition stamps, textures, and fonts. So like all these high def ones are the ones you get access to um, when you're paid. So like this entire pack, the high definition pack, and we can scroll down and you can just look, these are all stamps. Like the abandoned one, I don't believe that that definitely didn't exist when I started. Now we've got all these additional things like shipwrecks and stone bridges and towers and buildings. Um, Babylonian was added last year, I think. Um, Beasts and Monsters is new. Um, but here's here's like Core, the Dark Citadel, Desert, Dwarves, Eastern, Elves, uh, Ethereal Flora, Fantasy Regional Hideout. Look at all this stuff. You've got blimps and ships and broken ships and just all these different buildings. You've got hills. Oh, and by the way, something I'm not showing. So like as we're scrolling down here, let me pick one to show you an example of this. So like let's say... Um, I want to use a, a building one because it's a little more impressive when you do a building pack. So see these numbers? It might be hard to see because of the way this is kind of minimized here um, or, or just the size of it. But this right here says show nine. So if I click on this, this is called the village. It's a village asset pack within the fantasy regional high def, right? So if I click on this, um, oh, hang on. I, I, I didn't mean to do it like that. Let me go back to this. If I click show, Boom. You see how it expanded and suddenly I could see all nine of the buildings that are within that particular asset pack. So I can get a look at all the buildings that I might be able to use on my map when I'm going through looking for things. The next one over has eight. So we can look at the eight that are available under that one. Um, going down over here, this one has eight different buildings that we can see. This one has eight different buildings that we can see. Um, so we can go through here and you'll find this one, like this one, uh, statues. There's 16 different statues that you can choose from. And you'll find that throughout these asset packs as you dig down. Like here's these dragons. There's different types of dragons, different colors of dragons, different types of dragon bones that you can put into the environment. So, you know, getting down in here, like the sand dunes, different types of sand dunes that you can use. Lots of different things. Go in here and look at the cavalry. There's 12 different types of cavalry. Again, it's not just about the actual um, asset pack combinations, but going down into each individual asset pack and finding that those can be expanded upon as well. So the pro version, honestly, like I said, for $25 for the year, you know, paying a little more than $2 a month, it's worth it to me because I create a lot of maps uh, for our prequel module alone there's two dozen maps in that and chris and i are currently working on the the first story arc for season one and i've completed um i don't know how quickly it's going to show those maps here real quick so let me let me see if i can um go back to my art uh, excuse me not my art um go back to my maps um so these are some of the maps that we've created you can ignore the byra brewery um, I imported this map, and, and we're going to be talking about this in the tutorial section as we get deeper into this, um, with the, that, um, the Beira Brewery is someone else's map. And the reason I imported it in here is because you can go look at other people's maps, and you can clone. Some people allow you to clone their maps. Now, you can't sell those maps because they're someone else's. But what you can do is you can clone it and import it into your library, and then I can break that down and say, how did they build their tavern. So this is what I'm doing here. If you look at this brewery, then you look over here, I've got the Badger Brewery. And what I'm doing is I've been working on the Badger Brewery. I haven't worked on it in a few months. You can see here, last worked on four months ago. It's been a little little hot minute since I worked on those maps because I've been doing writing. Um, but I'm, I'm going into this map and I'm looking at the assets that they used from the Byra Brewery and, and figuring out, okay, how can I make mine look unique? based on the needs that I have for the role play scenario that we're setting up. But I can see how someone else did it to give me a quick visual aid on how I can set up my brewery as well. And as you can see, my building is completely different than their building. Um, the only thing that might be similar is we used the, uh, like the horseshoe river thing. Um, but then going over here, I've got the Laughing Badger Tavern and Inn, first floor and second floor. The first floor is all the tables and everything else. And the top floor is the beds. Then we've got the city of Forkland itself um and uh beyond that uh, these are the maps from some of the old we've got the original parthana city map which is from the prequel module the world map and of course um 
beyond Timarin's Rest, which is the map for our point-and-click adventure game. So as we get deeper into this, I will probably end up creating another, because the maps are the last thing I do, literally. The last thing I work on when I'm doing any of the modules is, the first thing is I got to get all the content written. Once I've got all the content written and I see all the branching adventure paths that can be taken, I can then go back and go, okay, I need maps for these things. And then I just make a list. And each map will have POIs associated with it. So if it's a city map, I need these 20 POIs. If it's a dungeon map, what's going on in the dungeon? Well, it's got to have, you know, if there's a story thing that they have to have in that dungeon, like an entrance and an exit. And then what's the story reason they're there in that dungeon? But then from there, I can break it back and say, what are the optional side things that could happen based on the module? And then I have to put those into that map as well. So that if the DM or the players um, choose to go and do those optional pieces of content, then that's laid out in the map as well. And I can't know any of that until the story is written and the outline is done and the you know all the content is there so that I can then go pull that content apart and get a better idea of what maps I need. So in any way, in any case, hopefully that answers the question for all of you out there, the difference between the paid version and the free version of Incarnate. Like I said, free version, 2K maps, and you don't have access to all the maps or the high definition um, uh, stamps and you can't export like I said at 8k so if, if none of that matters to you and you're just using it for your homebrew for your friends um, it's still a great tool even the free version is freaking amazing however for my money's worth if you can afford to throw 25 bucks at something just do it it's totally worth it even if it's not a tax write-off for you it's 25 bucks that's the cost of a movie these days but you're gonna get a full year subscription to the program and all those asset packs that you can use so anyway, that's my take on things. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. And please support if you can. If you like this series and it's useful to you and it's helpful to you and you found this content uh, enhancing your life in some way and making your tabletop endeavors better, support. There's memberships down below, three different tiers starting at $2.99 a month. You can also just do a quick super thanks on these uploads. If you're here during a premiere or a live stream, do super chats. Beyond that, there's our Patreon page with our tabletop, our point and click on our fantasy book series and uh, Discord. All the links are down there. So see everybody next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, happy gaming. Peace.